We're here at the Gatton Transfer Station where Cell 5 is uh, being completed by local company Benaterra. Uh, it's being completed on time and on budget. So the approximate life expectancy of this cell is approximately seven years, obviously depending on how much we put in the landfill. So what we can do at home is make sure that we are recycling, we are sorting our rubbish, making sure that we are putting only the waste that has to go into landfill into landfill. Use our yellow bin, let's work out what we've got to put in the yellow bin, what we've got to put in the, in the red bin and make sure that those uh, quantities are less and less that go to landfill. So over the next three to four years we'll start planning to do cell six which we have capacity here at this site to do one more cell. Uh, so then hopefully that should have the same amount of capacity depending on how much we put in. So that'll be another seven years. So we've got around about 14 years uh, life back in this site here. So um, after that, we've got to make our minds up on whether we can continue to landfill, whether the state government allows us to do new landfills in the area, and whether we're going to have to transport out of the area, which uh, will be a lot more cost to our ratepayer base and our community at the end of the day. So we've got a lot of work to do over the next few years to ensure that we do our homework and make sure we get our best results for our uh, community as far as recycling and resource recovery goes. The more the community can be vigilant on what they are putting into the landfill and only put what we have to put into landfill, it benefits everyone and be benefits the bottom line of everybody's costs across the board.